What is happening everybody? MG here. MG Covers bringing you a brand new sports handicapping video. Title of this video, WNBA Sports Betting Preview for June the 7th, 2024. Super excited to bring this video. I'm going to go through my lines uh, for WNBA for today, give you the actual plays via the model. We'll review yesterday and give you a really solid handicapping tip for building models. Um, before we do that, as always, if you're watching this video for the first time, greatly appreciate you subscribing. Uh, if you've been watching this video uh, or watching this channel for a long time and have not yet subscribed, I would greatly appreciate you clicking the subscribe, the subscribe button right now. Um, all right, if you want to follow me on social media, there's a link to uh, follow me on all my socials. Put out a ton of content on Instagram, so you get a lot of value simply by following me on Instagram. And the screen name for Twitter is the same, MG Covers, cover spelled with a Z. All right, let's dive into it. So I made some changes to the original WMA model. Super excited about this model. It won with Minnesota on 6-5 and actually won with these two plays last night. We'll go ahead and review those now. Uh, we had Chicago at minus 9.5, 9.9, which is basically Chicago minus 10. New York was minus 12. Those are my lines. And we take a look at the books lines here. Chicago was minus three, opened at four and a half. Actual line moved against us, but they still won and covered. And New York was minus six. They won and covered. Now, in sports handicapping, you have something called the differential means the difference between your line and your and the sports book line. The greater the differential, the greater um, chances of that play cashing if the model is good. So, for example, with Chicago, my line was 10. You take 10 minus 3. We had a 7-point differential. And with New York, we had a 6-point differential. And you'll have to determine, based on your model, what is the significant amount or a sufficient amount to signal a play. For example, if you only have a 2-point differential, for example, if Chicago, my line was minus 5, probably would not have been a a good play because my line is relatively close to the sports book so you want at least a significant uh differential and in this case i'm not sure if i'm going to use a five point differential or maybe even a six point differential i'm leaning towards maybe a at least a six point differential or greater all right now quick handicapping tip i want to uh show you guys if you take a look at this line right here I use something called the deviation factor, which I learned from basically my mentor. He was he wrote a bunch of books about sports handicapping in the late 80s. I read most of his books and what I learned from sports betting, I learned from him. So if I didn't apply the deviation factor, which I will define here shortly, my line would have been minus five Chicago minus New York, New York minus six. So there wouldn't have been any value. So what the deviation factor is, for example, if a team averages 90 points a game right and they're playing a team that only averages 70 points a game you have to make an adjustment because chances of them scoring or averaging 90 points in the game against the team only allowing 70 points is rare so one simple thing you could do you could add those two together so in that scenario you add 90 plus 70 is 160 divided by two and that makes it 80 so then the however you're calculating your model, you would use 80 points. Now, what Bob McCune did was different. So for deviation factor, whatever stat you're using, whether it's runs uh, scored for baseball, uh, ERA for pitching, what he did was he wanted you to calculate what the average is for all the teams combined. And then, so whatever the average number of runs, say, for example, run, average number of runs scored in – baseball let's say it's four and a half right so if a team scored a little bit more than four and a half maybe they were scoring 4.75 then you would add more points to to them and, and if a team was averaging five points you might add some some more points to um or might add some maybe you'd add 20 more cents to their money line and you would do the same with the um with the opposite so if team you had a baseball team was only averaging three um three runs a game and let's say their line was minus, plus 150 you might add 50 more cents so then their line would be plus 200 so that was basically the concept behind it so instead of lines being minus five minus six with the adjustment i made it with the deviation factor i made it minus 10 and minus 12 
And you might ask the question, well, how? show me the actual calculation, how you did it. Glad you brought that up. I actually teach stat model building um, where you can learn how to build models. Uh, we work one-on-one -on -one daily, very intense program, very expensive, but well worth it. I had a ton of success uh, with some previous clients. If you're interested in getting more information about that, click, click. there's a link uh, in the description box that says, do you want to build how to learn how to build models with me? Click that link and put your email in and you'll get information about that. So now with that being said, let's dive into today's lines for MBA. We actually calculated totals. Both of the totals uh, cashed as well for WNBA. I'm not going to do totals, but I'll list them here just so we won't make the video long. But let's take a look. Indiana and Washington. We have Indiana as the dog plus two and a half. Washington minus two and a half. You look at the books line. We'll go over here. Uh, books have Indiana as the favorite minus three. Washington plus three. So we have right at a five and a half point differential. Probably would pass on that one. The next one, we have Seattle minus eight uh, via my line. Let's take a look at the books line. Books line has them at seven and a half. And also, too, we have some line movement in our favor. And what I mean by that, if you go over here and look at the opening line was plus nine and a half. So that line has moved towards my line down to plus seven and a half. And with NBA, I would recommend taking the points here in this situation, plus seven and a half uh, for Seattle. Next, we're going to look at, let's take a look at Dallas is minus four, LA plus four. My line is Dallas minus six. So that's a really good example. We only have a two point differential, so not enough to justify a play. So we would pass there. And then finally, Minnesota and Phoenix. Minnesota is minus four and a half, Phoenix plus four and a half. My line is a whopping Minnesota minus 20, so we expect Minnesota to blow out. So the actual plays via the model are going to be Seattle uh, taking the points at plus 7.5. And, and for Minnesota, you would be laying the 4.5 there. Hope that video helps. Uh, like this video if it brought you some value. Subscribe to the channel if you want access to all of these lines every single day, as well as my MLB lines, as well as soccer. Uh, it's 50 bucks a month. You get access to all my coaching videos as well. If you want access to all of my plays, you get everything I just mentioned, and that is a hundred bucks. And the best value is join for a year. You save about $600 instead of paying a hundred dollars a month. You pay 500 one time. You get access to everything on the site, 500 bucks. There's a link to join in the description box. Have a good day. Good luck with WNBA tonight. Peace.